Welcome everybody to Fuck Mary Kill. Today we have the lovely Ariel who is married to one of the men on the other side of this curtain. The other two men are his friends and she's going to have to figure out which one of them is her husband so she can pick him to marry and then pick one of the others to fuck and kill. Are you ready? I feel pretty good. I'm, right? I'm a little nervous. Obviously. I feel like there's a lot of pressure yeah. to pick my husband. And, right, uh, because you don't want to ruin your relationship. Yeah. 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 I'm Ariel, and today I'm going to marry my husband, or at least him, but I'm definitely not going to kill him. I know this isn't how the game works, but I hope that she both marries and f***s me. The, you know, the way Ned talks about being married, it just sounds great. I want that. I'm going to marry Ned's wife. I want Ariel to choose Ned to get married because that's true love. But it doesn't mean she still can't f*** me. Yeah! I just don't want to die. So why don't we go ahead and start the game. We have a question that you're going to ask all three people. So go ahead and read this question out to them. Take a look at it. For everyone, I am a girl with a strong relationship with my parents. What is the one thing you would never want my parents to find out about you? And we'll start with Mr. One. Well, hello, Ariel. <laughs> oh my god! You know, sometimes I get a little excited about things and I can overreact, but you know, I've always been very good around people's parents. After hearing that answer, how do you feel about Mr. One? Uh, generally, a nice guy. Great. All right, Mr. Two, same question. Hi. I would maybe just keep some of the details of date night private. OK. All right, so this is a very private person. Nice. Mr. Three, go ahead and answer that same question. What do you not want her parents to know about you? Um, I would not want them to know that Sometimes I don't like to drink. Okay, so you've heard from all three of our Mr. Numbers. Right now, which one of these numbers do you think you want to kill? Uh, number three sounds uh, like like somebody out of, like evil out of The Hobbit, so I'm just gonna say that. Okay. But definitely not my final answer. I'm not okay. ready to answer yet. Great, let's go ahead and move on to round two where you're gonna ask each person an individual question. Okay. Mr. Two, I think that space is the true final destination. If you were a planet, what type of species would inhabit you and why? Oh, well, if I were a planet, I would be Uranus. Because I got that butt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I... <laughs> Mr. One. Mr. One. I am an equestrian at heart. What is the cutest outfit a horse could wear and why? I think I would have a really cute girl horse and she would be in like a nice little like 50s poodle skirt, like a cute little dress and have like a really high ponytail. Does that sound like somebody you'd want to f <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mr. Three. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat any meat. Uh, but if you were a cannibal, which celeb would you want to eat first? Yeah, which celeb would you want to eat first? <laughs> I would eat George <laughs> Clooney, because he's handsome and aged. OK, OK, I like, like that. Like a steak. Ooh. Exactly, like a steak. We're gonna move on to the final round. This last question is for all three of them. Okay, tell me a haiku about how great I am. Let's actually start with Mr. Three this time. Your booty is fine. Like chilled fine wine, so divine. <laughs> all night or all day. <laughs> Let's move to Mr. Two. Wednesday is date night. Cuddling and snuggling all, all right. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. Mr. One, what's your haiku? <laughs> you design so well. Will you decorate my house? Are you down to f <laughs> okay, okay, so we've heard the haikus, we've heard all these questions. Now, Ariel, is the time to decide who are you going to f, who are you gonna marry, and who are you gonna kill. Lock in your choices, and we're going to reveal your decisions to you one by one. 
You have chosen. Yes! Just flip up. <laughs> Was that good? I'm sorry you can't f right now, but we need to go pay our respects to the recently deceased. I know, I know. Well, you did this. You killed him. Go ahead and see who you've done away with. Oh, God. <laughs> What would you like to say? Zach, I'm really sorry, but we all knew that this was the only option. I disagree with that. It was not the only option. Okay, you had well, three no. options. Zach is you could have me. You could have married me. You could have done anything. Why? Hold on. I want an explanation. But you know what that means? I get to marry Ned. You get to marry Ned. Let's go to the wedding. And do you, Ariel, take Ned to be your husband, even though you just f***ed Eugene and it was good, you know what I'm saying, it was good. Do you still want this? You still want this? Uh, if Ned will have me back, yeah. I mean, I'd f*** Eugene. All right, then you may kiss your husband again. Yay! Aww, aww, beautiful. Thanks so much for playing, but we'll see you next time on Mary. All right, y'all had a good time. Everybody had a great time. Oh man, how was that sex though? How um, was that sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, this. Ugh, I don't want to keep looking at Eugene's butt. <laughs>